Hey, it's Asia here, and welcome back to The Purpose of Prep, your one-stop shop for study skills, college admissions, and SAT prep. And I'm here a little personal with you because we're gonna be actually getting on the computer and talking about an amazing resource for students, parents, homeschoolers, and teachers alike, and it's called IXL. IXL is one of the leading personalized learning platform for students K through 12. They have various lessons and questions in the topic areas of math, science, social studies, and even other languages like Spanish. They have thousands of questions that can test your knowledge, track your progress, and they provide detailed explanations for questions you got wrong so that you can improve. I've been using iXL for years and it's one of my favorite resources to use with my tutoring students and also my SAT prep students when they wanna review specific topics. And today I'm gonna to show you how to get set up and navigate the iXL platform so that you can start using it as well. Now I don't wanna waste any time, let's get straight to it. Well, let's get straight to it when I clean this desk. All right, now that I'm at my computer, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get set up on iXL and navigate the iXL platform. So if you look here, I'm on the membership page so that we can evaluate the different packages. But in terms of how to get to iXL, you can just type iXL into Google and it's www.ixl.com. Based off of what iXL has, I'm gonna give you a little tour of the type of packages you can purchase that will suit best for your needs. Now, they have a core subjects package that includes math, language arts, science, and social studies. Now, if this seems like too much, maybe you don't need the science and social studies as much, they also have a combo package that includes math and language arts. And then if you're simply looking for just math or language arts, they have their single subject package where you can just purchase one of them as an option. And if you scroll down here, it's a little small, but you can also add on Spanish to your package for an extra $5 a month. Now this pricing that we're currently looking at is for one child selection. You can increase for as many licenses as you want per child. So if you wanted it for a family of three, it's gonna give you those options. Regardless of what package you choose in terms of the subjects, you can increase the amount of children you want to have access so that you can monitor their progress individually, which is very important. Now you also have the option of purchasing yearly, and this is gonna give you a 33% discount if you pay it for the year all up front. But they have monthly and yearly options, so you could choose the best plan for you. All right, once you've created your account and logged into your iXL, this is what the homepage is going to look like. And if you scroll down, you're gonna see all the available different grade levels and all of the subjects available in each of those grade levels. So for example, just for this tutorial, I'm gonna use ninth grade and we're gonna to go to algebra one very common topic that everyone takes and if you go next to any of these subjects if you click the skills it'll bring you to that page for that specific grade level or topic now once you click that we're here on the algebra one page and it's sectioned off into different bigger topics like numbers operations relations of functions quadratic equations so on so forth and then underneath these big names are specific things like identifying equivalent ratios or unit rates and all of these different options even converting between percents fractions and decimals so now you're able to go through and click any of these topics and do real live practice questions with them and evaluate your progress throughout now i want to give you an example of this so let's pick something fairly simple to look at here solving one step equation so let's look at that now once you click it it's going to bring you right to this screen where you can look at the questions and solve so for example here it wants you to solve for z so you can simply look at the question here solve for it type in your answer and press submit and what you'll notice is on the right hand corner once you submit your question your smart score is going to increase now it gives you points per question and once you reach 100 it's going to allow you to say that you've completed this topic but it's not just that simple if you get a question wrong it's going to take away points. Oh yeah, so you're getting penalized for wrong questions, but this is to make sure that you stay in the topic if you're not 100% sure about it. It's not just gonna tell you you're wrong either. If you scroll down, there's gonna be a full explanation on how to solve the problem. So they're not leaving you hanging. They're giving you the information you need to improve on the questions that you get wrong and reward you for the questions that you get right. 
all the way up until you get your 100 smart score. And that's one of the beauties of using iExcel. It does challenge you and it makes sure that you understand a topic completely before moving on. Now, let me explain the best way to fit iExcel into your learning process to maximize its usage. The first thing I recommend is to learn the topic initially in school or with your homeschool instructor while taking very detailed notes. Next, I recommend using iExcel's lesson section in order to supplement that learning that you did initially in school or with your homeschool instructor or fill in any gaps that didn't make sense the first time. Then make sure to always use any homework or practice material that you get from school or your homeschool instructor first so that you can practice with problems that they're gonna be giving you on the test. Then lastly, make sure to use iExcel's question section for that topic to ensure that you truly understand the material and have grasped the entire lesson. Comment down below if you enjoyed this video and let me know if you wanna see more videos like this where we do full on tutorials and work through specific subject material or resources just like like this. And as we say here at The Purpose of Prep, work hard, study smart, and I'll catch you in the next video.